Hey everybody, it's Jeff with the B. We're reporting a vehicle accident here on Lakeside Drive. Just right across from the soccer fields here, if you look to our right here, those are the soccer fields right there. What we have here is a vehicle that crashed into somebody's driveway, taking out their parked car and also hitting another parked car. And uh, we'll take a walk over here and check this out as soon as we get there. got one person being uh, checked out by medics. You see where the car came all the way over here. And crashed into this guy's truck. So not only did it hit that vehicle right there, but it hit this... Uh, Brand new car right there. I hit it pretty good. I don't think anybody was hurt now. Pretty good. Oh. You know what happened? Oh, we were inside. Can I video you? Sure. All right, cool. So we have a witness here that's going to tell us what happened. Can you tell us what happened? Sure. Sure, cool. So this is your vehicle here? Oh, man, it looks brand new. Oh, no. Well, we're glad you weren't in it and you're okay. You were. Oh gosh. So much for that trip. Well, we're glad you're okay. Uh, people couldn't hear you because that engine's so loud over there. But what she was saying is that her car was parked out here during the night and this morning they heard a crash. Came out and saw this vehicle right here uh, had crashed into her car that was parked in this driveway right here. And uh, you can see the skid marks here. Those are the skid marks from the car right there coming through. Her car was parked right here and facing forward. And now it looks like the impact was in the back, huh? So we're gonna check out the impact here. Yep, got it right on the side there. It's gonna be 201, 6184. Uh, Julie. I'm not sure if this is the house before that one. Uh, they said this is the house by Bella's? Bella's house or something? Oh, um, it's Bella's way is right over here, so oh. it could be close to the house. So that was, it's close. We don't have a microphone, folks. It, they we're just using the phone right here, so. Now that the uh, now that the, the fire engine's gone, can you give us another just little quick update? Because they couldn't hear you before, so tell us what happened. Car is flipped the other way. Okay, so Luckily, there you guys heard it. Luckily, they weren't in it. There you go. All right, you guys heard it there. And what was your name? Alicia. Uh, that was Alicia, folks. <laughs> and we're glad you're okay. Thank you. Cool. So, just reporting here on the uh, situation that happened. And that car hit hers and then went into this gentleman's truck over here. And it looks like he was going pretty fast, too. He's still in there, he's right there. Seems to be okay, I don't know. I think he's just in shock. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll try to get an update with Dale here when he's done taking his report. We'll see if Dale will give us a statement when he's all done. Unable to leave a 
Yeah, that's the driver, yes. I'm not sure if his brakes went out or what happened here, but... Just missed the Mercedes. <laughs> Yes, it is Lakeside Drive in Bullhead City, right across from the soccer field, folks. I'll let you guys see. There's the soccer fields. So it's right directly across the street here. And this is where his tracks are. You can see his tracks coming through the dirt right there. Just missed the mailbox. We'll see if we can get a word with Dale as soon as he's done talking here. Can you give us a statement on what happened? Huh? Can you give me a statement on what happened? Did your brakes go out or something? Or did the brakes go out in the car? Or? Uh, okay, gotcha. Well, we're glad you're okay. So he said he was just tired, so 12 hour shifts got him. It's a good thing no one got hurt, that's all I can say. Somebody knows him. Just some skid marks right there at the last part. I think he fell asleep at the wheel. Pretty sure he fell asleep.
We'll wait for him to get his full statement before we ask him what happened here. I agree with this. So we're gonna go see if we can get a word with Dale over here. Get the official word from Dale here. So Dale's going to give us an update on the accident here. Dale, tell us what happened. All right, what I got so far is uh, the gentleman who was driving the little dark gray Nissan Sentra, whatever, is coming southbound here on Lakeside Drive. Apparently, he's been working quite a few hours. He's fatigued. Apparently, fell asleep. And I hit the rear of the uh, red car there, which got spun around, and uh, came over and collided into the side of the so no injuries reported or uh, not at this point no but I'm aware of it. okay good all right Dale hey thanks for the update again we appreciate it so there you guys heard it that was the update on this accident here on Lakeside Drive the actual house was 2434 Lakeside Drive You can see how that car came from this direction, just missed the mailbox, went through the driveway, hit the red car that was parked in the driveway, continued on, just missed the tree, and into the parked truck. That guy's truck right there just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Anyways, I'm Jeff reporting for The Bee. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more breaking news always on The Bee.